Hi folks, my name's Jay. Welcome back to Scotty Reviews. Finally out of lockdown. Star Wars Visions, episodes four to six. Episode four, The Village Bride, made by Kanima Studios and it runs for 17 minutes. A young Jedi by the name of F is on the run from the Empire. She looks similar age to Anakin out of Attack of the Clones. She still has her Padawan ponytail. She's voiced by Karen Fukuhara. F meets up with Valko, a friend from her past. Voiced by Kari Hiroyuki Tagawa, who I instantly recognized as the actor who plays Shang Tsung in the 1995 movie Mortal Kombat. Your soul is mine. He's also come back for Mortal Kombat 11 for, to do Shang Tsung's voice. It's fair to say I got a little excited. Valko shows F the complexity of the planet and the strong connection that the people have with it. They celebrate the wedding with a local couple and villagers, and that's when the plot thickens. The things I liked about the episode. The episode starts off in space. A uh, fun fact for all of you that don't know, all the Star Wars episodes from 1 to 9, they all start off in space, so that was kind of cool to have that in there as well. The animation was good, the score was fitting, the story was solid. The villagers have a belief if you hold back from celebrating, you'll be cursed. There's also a bit in the episode where someone uses a weapon that's kind of unexpected. It reminded me of a scene out of Austin Powers where someone throws a shoe. Oh. That really hurt! Who throws a shoe? The story's not just about lightsabers and it's not just about hugs and kisses. It's definitely a story I would like a continuation for. I'm giving it 4 out of 5 celebrations. Like and subscribe. <sighs> Episode 5, The Ninth Jedi, made by Production IG. It runs for 22 minutes. The story is set way into the future, past Kylo and Rey's storyline. Margrave Juro has sent a coded message throughout the galaxy for remaining Jedi to meet at the Aerial Temple. The planet below has been harvesting kyber crystals and Juro is looking to arm the remaining Jedi in an attempt to restore the Jedi Order. The story was great, the animation was good. I like the opening dialogue bringing the viewers up to speed of the story. I really enjoyed watching the process of a raw kyber crystal being made and put into a lightsaber. The lightsabers are also tempered, which the colour and the length are determined by the person's connection to the Force. Once again, like the previous episode, I could not find anything that I didn't like about it. Another great story. I'm giving it 4 out of 5 Juros. This is definitely a story I would like to see a continuation on. Episode 6, Toby 1, made by Science Saru. It runs for 14 minutes. The story is about a professor named Mitaka that has been using his droids to repair the planet that he's currently living on. He's voiced by Kyle Chandler who you might recognize out of Wolf on Wall Street. He plays one of the feds. And you know what I was just thinking too? The fucking hero that I'm gonna be back at the office when the Bureau seizes this fucking boat because I mean, fuck it, he fuck, fuck, Jordan, look at this thing. <laughs> the professor also has a cybernetic boy by the name of Toby One. He wishes to become a Jedi. Toby finds out about Metaka's past and that's when the plot thickens. Things I liked about this episode. The only real thing I liked about this episode was the ending. I felt that it ended really strong, but I also think this is another episode that's more suited to a younger audience. The animation was a little bit too cute for me. It seemed like Toby One was heavily influenced by Astro Boy and Pinocchio, and for those reasons it just came across a bit cheap to me. There was a bit at the end that was unbelievable, but not in a good way. I'm giving Astro Boy with a lightsaber two and a half out of five. I'm going to report back with a review on the final three episodes. 
Once again, cheers. Thanks for watching.